Hey guys, it's Tactics coming to you today with something a little bit different. I'm going to be going over Conquest Domination on Zebra Tower, and basically just going over a brief overview of Conquest Domination itself. Now, to start with, I chose 100% ticket room just because that's the standard ticket size for Battlefield, and just goes to show how fast the gameplays go when you're on only 100% tickets. This is a 6.5 minute gameplay, and that's about average when you're playing Conquest Domination at 100%. I suggest if you want longer gameplays to go ahead and choose a 200% up server. Now, to start with, Conquest Domination is one of the three game modes that were implemented with the Close Quarters DLC, and it's basically just a variation of Conquest itself, but with its own different factors. To start with, when you spawn into the game, it's random. You don't spawn with your teammate at a specific US or Russian side spawn. You're spawned randomly on the map like you would be in Team Deathmatch. You can start off in the middle of the enemies. On the other side of the map is your teammates or with your teammates. And when you first get into the game, all flags are basically just sitting there waiting to be taken. And when you, as soon as you touch a flag, you neutral or you cap it extremely fast. It's got the same point settings as you would see in Conquest. So same amount of points, 150 for neutralize, 250 for capture. And in this game mode, you can basically cap a flag by yourself even when the enemy controls it. Uh, it doesn't take many people to neutral it uh, very fast. So you can pretty much lone wolf if you want to. And that's one of the other things that you're going to see in this game mode is the fact that in a pub, Everybody is running around the entire game from one flag to the next. It's not your old conquest where you would basically cap a flag and defend that flag. No, no, no. This is really musical chairs. Um, you go from one flag to the next. But when you do get into more competitive gameplay with, say, teams or more competitive players, that can change. It, the dynamic of the gameplay can change from having going from one flag to the next and back and forth, back and forth, to actually holding two flags, since there's only three flags total in Conquest Domination. doesn't matter what the map is, it's only three flags. And if you think about it, holding two flags will get you pretty much the win on the game, as long as you're controlling it and getting kills. Uh, now, there's factors that I look at when I first get into Conquest Domination, and that is the fact of, basically, you're playing on small maps. you got to think about how you want to play, and I always choose Assault Class, just because it benefits my team the best. Uh, I can keep my teammates alive by reviving, keep myself alive with my health packs, and also the assault rifles are the most dominant weapons in the game. Um, that's another thing you got to look at, is what gun you're going to choose. Remember, these are close quarter maps. They're very small, and you're going to be running into two to three enemies at a time. So I would suggest going with a higher rate of fire weapon, and also look at the fact of reload time. There's a reason why I chose the M16 over, say, the FAMAS, AEK, um, weapons such as that, and the reason would be is because it's the most balanced in terms of close, medium, and long range, and the fact that the reload time is extremely fast. Uh, I need to have bullets in my mag at all times, and you can see throughout this gameplay that I'm basically running into two to three people at a time. There's no dull moments. I like the gameplay. It's hectic. It's, it's definitely... I think they got it right when it comes to the amount of people that can play on this. They did not need 20 to 24 players on these maps. Uh, when you're playing with good players, it's extremely chaotic. You're going to notice that people are traveling in large groups of four medics at a time. You can run into two, kill two, and they're all going to get res and you're going to die. So you got to think about your squad when you're playing. You got to think about what perks to utilize. Um, speaking of classes, I choose the assault, but you're going to run into a lot of people in Conquest Domination that are running support. They'll cap a flag, throw C4 all over, and go hide in a corner and wait till they see that the flag's being neutralized, and they'll blow it up. Uh, there's plenty of people that do it, so I always suggest having someone in your squad run the frag spec. Reason being is because you're going to want to throw frags on the flags before you try to cap. Um, go ahead and see for yourself, and other things that you might want to utilize sprint if you're going to be going from flag to flag and I don't necessarily think you're going to need ammo as much as some people might think because I don't think you're going to be staying alive all the time unless if you're running in medic trains so I think sprint frags and cover especially cover is very important because you're going to be under fire at all times um, and so basically that covers it for my view on conquest domination it's three flags no matter what map it is you can neutralize and cap the flag extremely fast. As soon as you have the flag cap neutralized, you cap it almost instantaneous. Uh, there's no spawning on a flag once you have it captured. That's one of the big differences between Conquest and Conquest Domination. You're giving either a choice of a random spawn, spawning on a teammate, or spawning on a spawn beacon. That's basically it. And that's why sometimes it can be important to have a recon go ahead and be in your squad so that they can put spawn beacon down.
But um, game mode's fun. I like it. It for competitive players, they might not like it as much just because it's very hectic. They might change the game mode down from say 8v8, maybe make it 6v6, so that it's more strategy involved. But we'll see. Um, I'll be going over the detailed version for Ziva later. Uh, maybe not necessarily today, but I definitely will be going over it. I like the map though, I will say that, but I think that covers it. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Let me know what you guys think and how I should change up from how I did this one. Alright, have a good one guys.